So with getting everything ready for a winter retreat, then there's kind of a, there can be kind of a rush of things, trying to get things done, but also it is, the, the world doesn't stop spinning after the winter retreat starts, so we can also get some stuff done after the winter retreat starts. That is allowable. It's not like we're going to go into a state of suspended animation or a state of stasis where we won't be able to do anything. So even for us on the monastic side of things, we still will have chores or people you know, the workshop, places like that are not off limits. We can still uh, we can still do some things. So that, that gives a bit of space. It's like putting space around things. And uh, and then, you know, if some things don't get done, it's actually totally okay because even if we get everything done on our list and we're able to cross everything off, there'll just be more things to add. So in a way it's kind of good to not get everything done because then we don't have to add more things. So uh so there is this, this kind of uh, energy around the beginning of winter retreat. And, but also uh, I feel for myself, I get a little bit excited about it. Just the prospect of being able to practice more, meditate more, have more space. But also setting that intention that when we, when we are going to do a retreat period where we're doing a lot of group practice to actually uh, have that sense of being able to rest and... Uh, settle into it actually that there can be that idea i've had this many times where uh, i just want to take a rest so i'll go to my kuti and take a rest but then there's that you know that didn't really fix things you know i feel a little bit better or i need to i need a vacation you know go and leave the monastery for a while but it you know it doesn't really make things better or or I need uh, I just need a day off, but then we get a day off and it doesn't really make things better. So there's this reflection that there's no rest in samsara because the defilements don't give us a rest. They uh, we do have to work at them, and there's no real way around it. Or we might think that oh well uh, I'll get a rest when I make enough good karma to go to heaven for a while, and then I'll I'll rest there. I'll rest in heaven. And, uh, but then even then, it's just, uh, you know, we, it's not, things keep moving, things, things keep going on. And uh, even uh, something like the heavenly realms, it's not truly a rest, it's just temporary happiness. So uh, the only, the Buddha talking about the only true rest is the Dhamma. The only true rest is insight. And the only true rest is, is liberation. So just developing that intention to rest and to settle in, but we rest within our activity, we rest within whatever we have to do, we, we rest within the framework of the monastery. So it's not just about getting away. We might think, well, if I get away for a bit, then I'll get to take a rest and then that'll be better. But it, it's, it's kind of an illusion. It's, uh, there is no there is no real rest until we're actually uh, resting with with nibbana resting with the buddha's teachings so uh, and then that takes work though that takes work to look into that thing to look into all these things consider them and to to actually do the practice and, and see for ourselves so in preparing for something like winter retreat uh, Whatever, whatever energy, we're kind of, I think of it as like a plane coming down to land. And uh, we're going to be uh, cru cru at, at a lower altitude, cruising down, getting ready to land and to, to uh, rest, settle into the practice for a while. And uh, so we don't need to be uh, speeding up. We don't want to be revving up too much. That can be, uh, there are some things to do. There's trainings to be done with a retreat crew, but then if some trainings don't happen, that can happen also on the, the 5th, January 5th or, or after that, if, uh, <coughs> if needed. And um, if there's questions uh, and uh, information that's needed, then, then I'll be available for passing things on still at that time. So it's not that uh, we have to have everything pinned down before say January 6th, when we're going to start with our full meditation schedule. So that just, just that idea of putting a lot of space around things. And then that, that kind of makes it easier 
to uh, to settle into the winter retreat. That idea we don't have to just do a full stop, cut everything off right at the evening of January fourth when we do when we formally enter the retreat. But uh, we just sort of ease into it. And, uh, can help the help the mind along, help to uh, help it to be peaceful. Yeah. Thank you.